quality. We have to support each other, we have to train with each other, and we have to develop our sense of community. We must work together, as Stuart said, in teams, in brotherhood and sisterhood, to protect ourselves from what's going on behind us. If you read the language of SB 941, it says, this shall not go to the people for a vote. These people behind us had the arrogance to deny the citizens the right to vote on something that affects our freedoms and our liberty and our constitutional rights. And why do we tolerate it? If anybody's interested, I'm going to reaffirm the oath to the Constitution of the United States. So I would ask everybody up front with us here, if you'd like to do that, please raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I state your name. I do, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Against all enemies, against all enemies foreign, and domestic, foreign and domestic, that it will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely, I take this obligation freely without, any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, pledging my life, pledging my, life my, fortune, my fortune, and my sacred honor. And my sacred honor. So, help me God. so help me God. You just swore to pretend this document and the rights that we are given, our inalienable rights, our God-given rights, do not ever back down. Step off the street corner, step into harm's way, get involved, learn it, protect your rights. God bless everybody here, and God bless America. I am for Traverse Reds, South Carolina. I am a former United States Marine. I am a grandfather of 11. I have four children. Three of my, my children have served this country, including my wife. These people are right here. This is my family. I didn't know any of them until I came here. The reason I'm choked up is because I love this country. I fought for this country. I'll fight for this country again. You people have got to stand up. How would you feel if you were on your deathbed and your grandkids and great caring kids came up to you and said, hey, Pop, or hey, Nana, or hey, Bruce, or whatever your name is, and said, with all the training you had and as much as you love this country, why didn't you stand up and fight? Why didn't you? You tell them you're a failure? I don't want to fail anymore. I've lost very good friends overseas, lost friends in Vietnam lost family. My family's fought in every war except the civil war in this country. I am not a liberal. I am not a Democrat. I am not a Republican. I am a constitutionally minded American Christian patriot who believes in God and the Constitution. I am absolutely honored to be here today to be with my family. These are my brothers and sisters. My family has grown exponentially. I don't have words for how I feel and for what these people have done. These are some of the bravest men and women that this old man has ever been around in his life, including some of the Marines and Army and Air Force and Navy that I served with. They never backed down. They never gave up. They constantly hit their knees and asked God to please step in. If you come to God first and you ask, Lord, please forgive me for my sins, if you humble yourself before him, and ask him, he will heal this land. That is in his words. That's the playbook. We have two. We have the Bible and the Constitution. It's black and white. There's no gray in the middle. It's like an Oreo cookie. It's yes and no. That's all it is. There's no more sitting on the fence. Pardon the language. No more BS. None of this garbage. If we don't stand up now, folks, I got news for you. We're not going to have a country anymore. And I'll be damned if I'm going to let that happen. <laughs> Make some noise, people. Don't be afraid. It's America. This law that they're trying to pass and all this other crap they're trying to spoon-feed you down your throat, 
You better start using the eyes and the ears and the brain that God gave you and start thinking for yourself. The billboards, the news, and all this stuff, it's all garbage. They're trying to make you believe in some magical unicorn or something that's not going to be there. We're in a lot of trouble in this country, my friends. A lot of trouble. We got this big Jane Helm thing coming. I got news for you folks. That's not good. You better pay attention. You better pay attention. You better make sure that you have a NATO round firearm, sidearm, 9mm, 45. You better make sure that you've got a long gun, 223, 556, 308, 762 by 39, and a 12 gauge shotgun. Because that's the things you'll be able to pick up ammo on the run and go and fight and protect your families. It's coming here, folks. Don't think it's not. If you'd have told me this 10 years ago, I'd have told you you were nuts. But now, I'll tell you, my eyes are wide open. I'm not scared. I've got God. My knees hit nobody, no knees except for Jesus Christ. I'm not Superman, but I'm not afraid of any man here, not any man anywhere. God has got our back. If we do what's right, just, and true, he will protect us. He will see us through this. Duty is ours. That's right. Duty is ours. Not on our watch. 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 Remember that. It's not on our watch. We are not going to stand by anymore. We're not going to listen to the BS. We're not going to be told lies anymore. We're sick of it. You people have the right in the Constitution to stand up and change these stupid laws. Put these people in their place. Make them do their job. If they're not constitutionally minded, get them out of office. They don't belong there. Fire them. Get rid of them. Recall them. Do something. But to be a coward, you can't be a coward anymore. We, we've had, we have ladies here who come and left their kids behind, left their families behind, men and women here who lost their jobs, left behind their jobs, their homes, their families, sold things to get here on their own back pocket. They didn't do it because they got paid. Nobody up here got paid to do this. We did it because we love our country. We love our freedoms. We don't want to see this tyranny go on anymore, folks. It's got to stop. And you people have the power to stop it. Not just us, all of us. Like Stuart said, you better be training. I have a five-year-old grandson at home. What's his name, guys? Pork chop. That's right. He shoots a 22 rifle with me. He got in an argument with his mother because he wanted to come. He wanted to come here with me. He said, Pop, I want to go with you and get those bad guys. Tells me every time I call him on the phone, Pop, did you get them bad guys? You better believe it, poor chap. We got them. They're on the run, and that's where we're going to keep them. We're going to keep them at bay, folks. Yeah. You hear me? So stop being scared. Stop being. Stop thinking that you can't do something. All of you can do something. You can all do something. You can write letters. You can make phone calls. You can get involved with the three percenters, the oath keepers. I'm a three percenter. I'm an oath keeper. I'll show you. Here we go. Play the music. Bom, 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 bom. Dun, 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 dun. But this is something that, you know, unfortunately, by laws like this, it's going to put sheepdogs on sheepdog. We have outstanding state patrol out here watching, making sure it's right. It's a tough job that they're doing, okay? And the other city cops, it's a tough job that they're doing. But you know what? If they're going to be having to enforce something that's not constitutional, you know what? It's, it's going to be play, It's going to be game day, Okay. And that's, you have to fight for these rights like that. It's game day. I've made it very clear in guys in my group and guys that surround with us that, you know, you, we're going to try to do this legally, but if they want to play, it's going to be, it's going to be sheepdog on sheepdog. And for the CPT program, a lot of prior military combat veterans, Marine Corps combat veterans that just uh, 2012 got out are part of my team. We have army dogs are part of my team. We have Army Dogs part of the Oath Keepers, Sailors, you have Coast Guard, 
you have Air Force. So all the, a lot of people come to me like, hey, what do I have to offer? You have to have the heart of a teacher, enthusiasm of a student, and you have to have work ethic. If you have those three things, okay, with the foundation of honor, integrity, and loyalty, that's all you got to have. So a lot of people say, hey, I, I, I'm, I didn't serve. I don't have that training. Don't worry about it. That's why we are here. That's why Stuart Rhodes developed the, the community preparedness team after the Bundy Ranch. He saw there's a need for this. A lot of us are, are subgroups. If you already belong to a subgroup, Oregon 3%. Washington 3%, Idaho 3%, doesn't matter. We come together and we join together. Use the Oath Keepers as a platform. So this is what I want you guys to do is you have to get involved and, and seek out. We're not going to come find you. We're not, it's not like we're recruiting, going around recruiting people, say, hey, you want to join, you want to join. No, you have to come find us and say, hey, I want to serve because all of us are here. We just, we're here because not because somebody sought them, but because they saw and paid attention and they said, hey, I'm here to serve. What can I do? If you have it in your heart, you have to have it inside and pray about it. Take it from there. Thank you. Long but good. All right, guys, we've got one last speaker. This one is Tammy Jackson here to talk about a Vietnam War movie.